All the programs that we have made before this, we've been able to create and put in one file. From this point forward, most of our programs will actually be composed of multiple files. We'll have graphics files, we'll have sound files, and we might have more than one source file. To keep all of those straight, it works really well to have each individual program that we create be put in its own folder, and then all the supporting files, such as graphics and sounds, can be put into that folder. Just to show you how that's done, when you've got the Windows desktop up, you can click on your little Windows File Explorer, or instead, you can hit the Window E key, my favorite way of bringing up the File Explorer. Hit Window E, brings up the File Explorer, find where you want to put your file. I'm going to put it in Documents in this case. And then decide what you want to call it. Click on New Folder, and then name your project with that folder. Then inside of here, go ahead and put your Python files, your sound files, and your image files. I start up idle. I go ahead and create a new file. Then when I save it, I need to make sure that I find that folder. By default, like we've talked about before, Python does not give you a good place to store your files. I'm going to go ahead and click back here to Libraries find my Documents folder, find my Project 1, and create my Python file. I've got the multitest.py file inside of the folder. I can go up to the Documents folder and see that. For some reason, it's really easy to accidentally put the image files here or in a different folder or get two copies of my program. One copy of my program, for whatever reason, might go up here. And then I start editing this file, thinking that my file is actually in here that I'm editing, and things get really confused. Be careful while you're working with your files that you're editing the file that you think you're editing. You can check by up here in the title bar. It will tell you exactly what folder you're in and what file you're editing. Do a double check if you ever feel like the computer isn't managing to load your image or your sound file like you think it should. Make sure that you're in the folder you think you are, and then go back and check and make sure the sound and image is in the folder that you think it is in.